Hi, uh, in this uh, AWS uh, start, we start uh, especially uh, this 52 lab that is in the section of networking. I'm going to demonstrate about this uh, uh, guided lab. Okay, so first open this uh, lab and uh, quickly start. So this uh, basically this lab uh, really uh, defines about building uh, your VPC and launch a web server. So before I st uh, this lab gets start, I just give the briefing about what exactly this lab means. So we have about four tasks in this particular one. Uh, this is uh, basically the scenario is uh, like uh, once uh, you have you, you need to build your VPC. And then also once you create your VPC in uh, 10.000/16, you also need to create subnets. And of course, uh, we'll also learn about how you can configure uh, security groups. And of course, later on, we will launch EC2 instance in one of the VPC. So this is our uh, diagram where we are going to create the VPC, the green one, 10.000/16. Within that. We are going to create uh, again uh, two public subnets and uh, two private subnets. You see here 10.000/24 and 10.0020. 10.0020/24 will be your public, and the other two will be your uh, private subnets. Uh, that is 1.0 and 3.0/24. So later on, we will also learn about how you can configure your uh, route tables, uh, private and public. You see here. Uh, the public has the internet gateway and private has the NAT gateway. So we will also later on launch uh, an EC2 instance inside the VPC and try to connect. So this lab is more or less takes about 45 minutes. So let me uh, move ahead in uh, creating this first task. The task one is that we are going to create a VPC and after creating VPC, we will add subnets also. So first and foremost thing, once the lab is ready, we will uh, launch this, uh, go to AWS dashboard and quickly launch this AWS uh, uh, VPC wizard. So once this is done, we are going to create the VPC name and uh, your availability zone, that is a public subnet. And of course, second availability, private subnet. Okay. And once we will move ahead in launching. Yeah. Now it is green. Just click uh, this AWS. It should open a new window. Please do this lab only in AWS Work Academy. Okay, maybe later. So, as uh, mentioned, you can go to the VPC dashboard. So, this is your VPC dashboard. You can see here. So, here uh, you can see VPC dashboard, select VPC, your VPC subnet, etc. etc. Uh, okay, once uh, you open this, uh, once you are in the dashboard of VPC, just click this VPC launch wizard. And uh, here you can select, see this is single subnet, public and private subnet, select this particular one. Uh, with the VPN access, no, we are not going to do this. Uh, we are going to create this uh, VPC uh, public and private subnets. This is select. So here uh, in the VPC name, you can give as lab VPC. Uh, and in the public, leave it this one. In availability zone, you can give, uh, this is the first availability zone. Uh, I'll give this one as 2A in public 10.1.0. Uh, same thing, the same one which you have given, you can give it here also. Same in private. Uh, here in elastic IP, what you can do is that just select this particular one of the elastic IP. It's a fixed public IP. Elastic IP means it's a fixed public IP. So uh, enable, uh, leave it as it is, rest all defaults. So once you are done, you can create your VPC. Uh, private and public which we have created which you have given just wait for some time to get all the things uh, ready you can also see uh, we have just launched create a vpc and once it's okay uh, you should see this uh, basic background should be created and this uh, should complete your uh, uh, basic i mean task one let us uh, uh, start task two in task two we are going to create subnets so let me go back, still in underway uh, the progress, just wait for some more time. See, you see this, uh, your VPC has been uh, successfully created. So just say, okay, uh, this completes our task one. You see this lab VPC, which has been created and on the subnet 10.000 slash 16. 
so now uh, to move ahead with the task 2 click on subnets uh, here so uh, there are some uh, yeah these are private and public subnet 1 which are default created we will learn about how to create uh, subnets private and public subnets 2 a uh, second one so for this select this lab vpc okay uh, the subnet name i will give as a public subnet uh, i'll say 2 and availability zone i will give the uh, sec next which is available uh, i can give this to me okay so in cadr block 10.0.2.0/24 please see the accuracy so we have already uh, checked the diagram you see this one uh, please go through the first one so this is uh, what which we are cre creating subnet 2 uh, 10020 and also we will be going to create this uh, private subnet 2 okay uh, 3.0 slash 24 okay so if you want you can add another subnet uh, and also a key uh, sorry and add a tag so here the subnet name i'll say this is a private subnet 2 subnet 2 availability zone i can give the second one which is available to be and in cadr block I will give this 10 0 0 3.0 0 slash 24 okay and say uh, yep create a subnet so it's creating subnet 1 and creating subnet 2 yes so these two are now created okay so now we will uh, focus to the route uh, this completes your uh, task 2 uh, I think uh, it's still more pending in task 2 we have just created subnets to uh, private and public subnet. So now we will go to the private subnet route, okay, uh, the inbound traffic. We will understand about the route table first. So to understand about the route table, let's click the route table, main equal to S and lab VPC equal to uh, lab VPC, right. So click this route table, just understand. See here, uh, main equal to S, this is the one, these two are there and it should include lab VPC. So, select this. So, automatically you should see, uh, uh, you can see the pane which is appearing, the details. Click these routes. You should see that there is 0.0.0 .0 means uh, this is uh, completely private actually, uh, which we are selecting. All traffic from private should go through the NAT gateway. NAT gateway. This is the meaning. So, what you can do is that you can, uh, if you have uh, done this one, uh, you can write something for our remembrance. This is a private, okay, uh, private subnet or something like that, private route table, route table, okay. We didn't do any modification here. We just learned that the private traffic is going through uh, the NAT gateway. You can see this one. This is, uh, if you click these routes, it is going through the NAT gateway. And the other one, you see this one, lab VPC with main equal to no, okay. Select this. This is actually, uh, I'm sorry, uh, this is actually the private one. Select this routes, sorry, public, public. Public traffic is, all public traffic is going through the internet gateway. That's what it means. So, I can say here, public, okay, uh, I mean say route table. You say save. Okay, that's fine. So now you can see in subnet associations, you see here in subnet associations, so here you can edit this in private route table, you can edit this uh, subnet associations and say private subnet 2 and private subnet 1 can be associated, save association. Okay. Similarly, in public also, public route table, you can select and say subnet associations, we are making an internal route and edit this subnet associations, okay, this public subnet and public subnet 2, you can make an association, save associations, absolutely. So now this, uh, this is done, okay. So now you see the diagram, what exactly we have completed till now, we have done all these things. So we have successfully created the VPC, 
and also we have created this uh, green ones the public subnet one sorry uh, public subnet two and this uh, private subnet two these two which are there in a different availability zone okay this is zone one zone a and this is zone b and then we also uh, associated uh, this uh, subnet one and subnet two using this internet gateway associations okay this is a NAT gateway we associated using a route table so now let us move ahead to the task three Okay, task 3 is creating a VPC security group. So, this will be useful for configuring your EC2 instance also. Okay, so just scroll down, go to security group, create a security group. You can specify the security group as web security group, web security group and enable this HTTP add rule. Okay, so A web security group and under description you can say enable HTTP access and select your VPC this a must remove this one to get okay and in inbound rules add this rule of HTTP uh, is this HTTP yes HTTP and say any right so if you want, you can have this uh, uh, SSH also, but here I don't really require. So create a security group. Yes, let us create in the security group. You can see, port 80 has been given. Right, so this completes the uh, task number three. Create the security. Now uh, let us uh, do this task four uh, to launch Amazon Linux 2. Okay, with the T3 micro, with T3 micro, I'll show you. you. What you can do is uh, you can go to EC2, under EC2. So, what you can do is you can create, you can launch an instance, you can launch instance. You select launch instance. Okay, select Amazon Linux, Amazon Linux 2 select and then we here we need to be very careful so here uh, please do only in uh, uh, otherwise uh, you have to select only t2 micro uh, t3 micro is suggested so here uh, t2 micro is free tire eligible uh, t3 micro you see two cpu with one one gb of memory you can select that and go to instance details most important things so here select the network as a lab VPC, okay, and uh, you select this public subnet 2, public subnet 2, and of course, how to assign, uh, enable this public IP, enable this public IP, and in the bottom, go with advanced, you have something which is called as user data, okay, so what you need to do in user data, uh, go uh, in this, uh, what do you call this, uh, uh, I mean, uh, there is a script given, just select all the script okay select the script okay to say copy and maybe what you can do is that you can copy this one in your notepad open the notepad and you can copy the script so this is your script so please understand the script is very simple uh, what we need to do, we are defining the script yum install hyphen y http uh, and of course mysql at php so these are all commented ones so w get all the lab app dot zip which is from s3 http bucket unzip okay uh, what you have downloaded and then uh, uh, the unzip to this uh, slash wire w html and then this uh, this H chk config will uh, make the uh, i mean uh, uh, the HTTP service always enabled. I mean, once even if you reboot the server, the service will be start always on and service HTTP start the service is started. So I copy this one as it is and say okay into this particular user data. So don't make any modifications and say add stories. 8 GB is enough. Add tags. 
I give a name and web server one, configure your security group. Here, uh, select an existing security group. We have already created a web security group. I will select this one, which has port 80. Okay. So once this is done, web security group. If you want, you can add, modify this one uh, at a later stage also. Uh, this only accepts port 80. But if you want, you can uh, uh, just give port 22 also. Review and launch. So you will not be able to access that's okay. I don't want. Uh, just say this is the, uh, the I mean the summary and just say launch. So okay, I acknowledge and launch the instance. So in few minutes you should see the instance is getting ready. So so how to view? Go to view instance dashboard. So your instance is getting ready. You see, this is your public IP. You can see. Otherwise, this is your public DNS. Both of them uh, really work on the browser. So the status X is uh, H X is running. So just copy this uh, browser. Yeah, this one. Uh, wait for some few minutes. So once this is done, then you should see the website being run. So let me just go through. Yeah. So here, this is what we have done. Uh, we created once after this, we add storage and then configure the security group. We have selected web security. Scroll down. So copy the public IPv4 DNS. And finally, our lab is complete after verification. Just wait for three to four minutes to ensure that your status check of health check is running perfectly. Okay. Once everything is through, we should see. Yeah, the test phase is successful. This means if you see the test phase running, uh, then you can see very well say claim that this your web server is fantastic running. So with this, we have completed the exercise. So once this is complete, you can say end lab. And of course, uh, uh, yes to confirm. Okay. So, where is end lab? Yes. So, all the resources gets terminated. Thank you and bye.